Good morning, um, beautiful people, um, congressional staff. Uh, greetings from California. Uh, we don't understand this humidity. It's always very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very hot. Um, I'm from Anaheim, California, and I'm here this morning to let you know um, what Anaheim, California was and what it is becoming because of Gear Up. Uh, Gear Up came in at a crucial point in California as we're predominantly more Latino, as um, the homes are getting more expensive, as um, people are being deported from our own county and from, our, and from the city itself. It came out at such a crucial point because students on a day-to-day -day basis in California are being told that you can't be what you want to be. I'm sorry, but you, you're writing pretty well for a Hispanic. And I, and I internalized many of these things and I found myself not really aspiring to do much. I found myself just saying, okay, um, maybe these teachers right, maybe this counselor's right. I wanted to take an, e an AP class my sophomore year and my counselor said, all you gotta do is graduate. Don't even worry about this. All you gotta do is graduate. On the summer before my junior year, I went to Gear Up University where we spend almost a week at, a uni at, a, at, a, at the local university and take classes by really, really strong professors who want to empower us. I came out of there empowered, not feeling myself as a criminal, not feeling as myself as somebody who didn't belong in this country. I felt like I could be a college student. I felt like a college student, and I knew I was going to be a college student. And after that, there was this huge catalyst built up inside of me to do great things. But then I also came back to that counselor and I asked her, okay, I'm ready for AP classes, bring it on. But she said no. And then I went to the counselor next door and she said no again. I went to my gear up counselor and I was crying. I was bawling in front of her. Ms. Sureño, I don't know if I can do this. Nobody believes in me. And she held on to me and she gave me some tissues. <laughs> and she said, I believe in you. And she pushed me. And she gave us this long-term investment. Gear Up is this long-term investment in students where they don't just say, okay, you got some nice boots, go pick yourself up from them. They gave me new boots to pick myself up from. And they tied my shoes along the way when I was too tired to tie them back. That is what Gear Up is all about. And as I stand here, an honor student at Fullerton College with concurrent enrollment at the Cal State, at the Cal State next door, who has presented their research at Stanford University, who represents their college at the district. I don't stand that saying that I did that on my own. I know Gear Up was a huge part of that. But Anaheim is still in need of Gear Up because I keep getting emails and phone calls and text messages saying, Francisco, where did Gear Up go? I don't know what to do with my financial aid. I don't know what to do about college anymore. And I do what I can, but I know that Gear Up needs to come back. And as I sat in a room with 30 great, incredible students from across the country, I was, it was so, it was just so exciting for me to know that Gear Up has been doing so many great things across the country, but we're facing the same problems. We are facing the same problems across the country. So I ask um, the congressional staff and even the Gear Up leaders to let's keep pushing for Gear Up. Let's keep providing these services, this hope because it is not just what Anaheim is becoming, it's what the United States of America is becoming. So please keep supporting Gira. Thank you.